I'm Chip Rohn with your Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you are watching In the Know. Today we are at the YMCA of Laura Highlands, and we're going to be learning about the YMCA's summer day camp. And joining me is Brooke Oldland. Hello, Brooke. Hi, how are you? I'm well. And, and what's your position here, Brooke? Uh, I am the director of school age child care here at the YMCA. Excellent. And so the uh, summer day camp, tell us about... Uh, when this happens, what are the uh, what's the time frame for that? So for summer camp, we start in June and we go all the way to August. So once school is out, we usually start the week after school um, ends, and then, like I said, we start at the beginning and we go till the end of August. Okay, and and the days and times that it happens? Uh, summer camp is Monday through Friday from seven to five thirty, and kids can come as early as seven or they can come whatever time they want to. Okay. And options for days, you allow them to do like one and three, four and five, I think? Yeah, so parents can choose to come one to three days for part-time or four or five for full-time. Okay, and they can pick the days that, that they want to yeah. come? Yeah, okay. usually kids come Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Those are our more structured and field trip days and stuff like that, but Tuesdays and Thursdays are more laid back, so. Okay, what's a typical day look like? What, what do the kids get to do? So they come in here and we start by playing with all the toys and stuff that we would have set up. And then after some kids come, we go to the gym, play some tag games, structured like team building games. And then around 10 o'clock, we split up between kindergarten through second grade and three through seven. And we'll have a craft in here and then we'll do a structured sport down in the gym. And then we switch after some time. Um, around lunchtime, we come back here, get all our stuff, go outside, have lunch, play on the playgrounds, play on the field, we do sports. Um, Okay. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it's a, it is a lot of fun. It's a lot for the kids to do. A lot of running. They are very tired by the end of the day. So when they get home, they sleep. I would hope so. Yeah. I think the parents do, too. <laughs> they would appreciate that, too. Yes. So the parents drop the kids off? Is that how it works? They, just they do. They bring okay. them here, and they sign them in, sign them out, and they bring their stuff and put them in a cubby, and we just start our day. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a child care opportunity, yes. too. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. A lot of parents work throughout the summer, so this is a good way for them to... Yeah. And they're having fun. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you do some field trips, too. We do. On Wednesdays, we go on field trips. So a few that we've done in the past, we go to the aviary to see the birds, the zoo, ice skating, regular skating. We go to parks, um, just stuff like that. Okay. And I saw you mentioned swimming. Yes. On Fridays, we go swimming. We go to a variety of pools. We go to Laurelville, Flatwoods, Park and Pool, just a bunch for the kids to do something instead of just staying here all the okay. time. Now, do they have an opportunity to learn how to swim during that too? They do. I do a swim test just to see if I feel comfortable with them swimming in the deep end or the shallow end. Mm -hmm. So if they are able to swim from one end to the other without needing a lot of assistance, they can use the slides, they can do whatever. If not, I prefer them just to stay in the shallow end with some of the staff just until they feel more comfortable in the pool. Okay, great. Now, what is the cost? How much does it cost for, for um, the kids? For kids to come one to three days, it is $125 a week. If it's four to five days, it's 155 a week. Okay. Now, if they're members of the Y, is there, is there any difference if, if they're actually members, like the family um, are members? I don't think so, but I do know if there's more than one child attending, they get a 10% off discount. Okay. That's nice. Uh, how do people register? Um, they can register by coming to the Y and picking up a packet at the front desk. They can okay. either fill it out here or they can take it home, look it over, and bring it back. Okay. Information about this on your website, too? There is information on our website. Um, we are having an open house in March. Okay. Um, they can come and learn about what we do, see what we're doing, learn the staff, and then they can take a packet, like I said, and look at it, take it home, and bring it back. So that's the first time you can sign up is in yeah, March? Yeah, they can is start March 29th. March 29th. Okay. Yes. And, and tell us a little bit about that open house. What will people find when they so come So the open house is just in the gym. We put up the giant slide so the kids can play while the parents can talk to the staff, see what we do, look through the packet, see what field trips we're going on, where we're going swimming, and just like the costs and everything for okay. it. Now, if someone wanted to know more, could they stop by the Y and talk to you? Yeah, they yeah. can come by here and just ask for me, and I'll feel free to answer their questions. Okay. Uh, just to kind of give people an overview again, just talk about the dates again, like when this happens. So. Um, our dates this year, starting June 12th. Okay. And it'll go till August 25th. Excellent. Well, Brooke, I appreciate your work here at the Y and, and what you do to keep the kids active. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate you coming. Yeah, thank you. And now you're in the know.